All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be doing some epoxy paint on this garage floor. So I already have it buffed out already. It had like two layers of paint on it. So, uh, and I use a buffer on it with a, um, a diamond bit. So this is the epoxy. Rustoleum epoxy shield garage flooring kit. So uh, comes in two cans and then this little one you have to mix with this. And then this is the clear coat after you finish installing the epoxy. So first what I have to do is I have to wash the floor get all the impurities out with this, mix it with water. So it just comes in two packs and then leave it to dry and then I'll install the epoxy with the, um, the paint chips also. So first thing I'm gonna do now is use my blower to blow everything out and then start washing it out with this, um, basically this is like an acid wash to get all this whatever is on the floor out. So let's get started. All right, so I got every, all the debris out with the blower. So in the next step, I'm gonna clean the concrete with the etch concrete cleaner. So I have two, buck, two gallons of water here. And I'm gonna pour this in the water. Then mix until it's dissolved. So, in the meantime, while this is dissolving, you have to pre-wet the entire surface with the hose. So I have my hose here, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm gonna use this little water can to dip and sp sprinkle it on the entire surface. And then use this brush here to brush it in the concrete to get all the debris and impurities out of the concrete. So let's get started on that.
All right, so I'm finished cleaning the floor. I, uh, I, I apply the, um, the etch concrete cleaner, leave it for two minutes, and then scrub with a brush, and then rinse twice. And then I uh, use my blower to remove most of the water to speed up the drying time. So the next step is I have to, when it dries, fill in the cracks in the corners and take some wall paint and paint this piece here because it's, you can see right there, it's showing pretty bad. So we have to touch up the wall first and then leave, leave it to dry for 24 hours. Make sure the concrete is perfectly dry. Then we're gonna do the epoxy paint on it. All right, so the concrete has been drying now. So I have my paint over here, so now I'm gonna paint the side. So out here, I'm gonna paint it, leave it to dry. Then I'm gonna do the epoxy tomorrow. All right, so I'm finished with the corners over here, paint all the way around. Now I'm going to let the concrete dry overnight, and then tomorrow I'm going to do the epoxy. So it's looking pretty good. All right, so the floor is dry, and I fix all the cracks here. So now I'm going to mix part A to part B. Okay, let's see. It's a clear. It's very clear. Okay. This is a good mix up. Alright, so that's starting to look consistent there. Alright, so I'm finished starting it up. So this is part A. This is the activator. Part B, which is the base. So you're gonna wanna leave it for about 30 minutes before you start rolling it on. I have my paint chips here. So I'm gonna leave that right there, 30 minutes, and then start painting. All right, so I'm gonna start by cutting the corners first, and then rolling on like four foot by four foot, and then sprinkling the paint chips on it. Okay, so we're gonna start rolling it here now. Three feet sections going out. Another 
Deci e hol, hol dacă... Păi nu mi Sprinkles now. So this process here, we're going to repeat this process and the whole thing. Alright, so we finished the first section. Looks pretty nice. Now we're gonna work on this section right here. All right, so almost finished. One little section left here. So I'll give you guys a look. Looks pretty nice.
All right, so we just finished the floor. We're gonna wait for that to dry for 24 hours, then put the clear coat sealer on it. Alright guys, so this has been drying now overnight. It looks pretty nice. Give you guys a look. So now I'm gonna apply the clear coat sealer. So this is it right here, and I already have, so it comes with a, um, this is the anti-skid, you can add to it, it's like a powder, so with this you can mix it, so I'm going to show you how to do that, and I have a clean bucket to pour it in, and I have my gloves and my roller. So let's get started on mixing it up. All right, so. You want to start from this side, so there's two sections here, you want to get the big side and start rolling it towards the other side so that you can break this seal. Alright, so there we go. Now you have to mix both of them for about three minutes. Make sure you want to squeeze the corners. Make sure everything is out in the corners. All right, so that's good there. Now I'm gonna pour, pour it into the bucket. You want to cut a little bit on one of the corners. And then pour into your bucket. So let's see here. Make sure you get every little bit out. So, that's good. And then use the anti-skid powder. Pour it in there and then mix it up.
Make sure it's all consistent and there's no lumps or anything. Looks pretty good there. So, so I'm gonna start from one side, working my way in four foot sections, and uh, yeah, let's start. Make sure you wear gloves for this. Pour some out now. I'm using a regular roller, 9 inch roller. Make sure you cross roll it up so that you don't get any areas. Yeah, Alright, so that's the process right there. Alright guys, so I finished sealing the garage floor. Now we're gonna leave that to dry about one full day and then you can walk on it so this is it right here you can see the clear coat on it all right guys so thanks for watching please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and i see you guys in the next video